which are to place your mind on a particular object or idea, uh, or to um, be analytic of your current experience, to be mindful of your experience and try to analyze it and understand it. This meditation is simple, alert, being, or sitting without any particular objective. And they, these, these kind of work out somewhat differently too. Um, this uh, analytic meditation where you notice how you're feeling, notice you've got a pain in your back, notice how you're sitting, try to come to terms with is seen, has traditionally been seen as particularly good at overcoming delusion. So mindfulness of the body or effort to bring you back to what's real. That's all fine insofar as it goes, you know. The, the placing your mind on a particular object, thinking about emptiness, thinking about kindness or whatever, um, also, there can be many different objects and they can change, but it tends to be rather discrete uh, purpose, such that one of the in ancient India, but it's kind of hard to do anymore, is that when the monks were troubled by sexual desires, they would go out at night and they would, the, these were monks, men, so they would dig up the corpse of a weak, recently deceased woman and observe the corpse decompose all night and then go back to the monastery. I kind of figured that kind of sexual desire from your experience, it probably works, you know. And by golly, if you've just committed to being a monk living in a monastery, it's probably a good thing to kind of turn that knob down from 10 back up to one and a half or... The, the Theravada has made very popular, I don't, it's even hard to see, there's some things, some next century people are going to study how some of these happen, things happen that almost everybody does med meta meditation. They have a, uh, may no harm come to us, may we live in peace, and then you open it, may my friends be happy, happy. That, that generating overcoming anger and hatred, go there instead of going there. If your problem is anger, cultivate the kindness. Um,